Now, after having seen the wave function and how how the electron how it represents the probability of the electron at a given point, we we'd like to know the shape of the orbitals, right? So so for a given m, we have the subshells. For a given shell, we have subshells, and for a given subshell, we have we have the differently oriented orbitals, right? So what do they look like? That's that's a question that that must concern us, that must interest us, right? So 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 it was it was told by the German physicist Max Born. Okay? So the German physicist physicist Max Born. It was him who told that that that, that psi square, right? Psi square represents the probability density. Represents the probability. Probability density of the electrons. The probability density of the electron. Okay. What does that mean? It means that if you, if at a given point, and and it's a variable probability density. Okay. It's not a constant probability density. So what happens? If you if you change the probability density and keep at, at a given point, you keep on multiplying by the volume of the shell, you will get the probability of finding the electron in that that shell. Okay, so that is what the probability density means. Okay, now now let us try to see what the probability density looks like for for say a one s. What the wave function and the probability density looks like for 1s and 2s orbitals, right? So, so, so let us try to. See what it looks like. distance from from the nucleus in nanometers in nanometers this is also r in nanometers this is this is 0.4 this is 0 0.8 0.4 0.8 And we will we'll plot the wave function here, right? Psi as a function of r, and the scale here is 
it almost touches the x axis here okay the value 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 almost kind of goes to minus 10 and then kind of rises okay rises and goes like that okay goes like that it, it, it's not a it's not a sharp sort of bend okay a sharp bend Goes like that and kind of goes like that. Okay. This is the the sign of the two S of right. Fine. Now let us try to plot the probability density function of that. Okay. Let us let us plot the probability density function. So so the probability density function looks something like that. I have the, the same thing, right? R in nanometers, R in nanometers. And again the same point for point eight. This kind of looks almost the same as the sign, right? So, it does not rise. So 
what happens for one s for one s the size square uh, that is that is the probability density probability density decreases sharply and remains at zero thereafter for 2s the probability density okay decreases to zero then again increases then decreases and becomes zero thereafter fine now the region where it becomes zero okay the region where the probability density goes to zero is are called the nodal surfaces or simply the nodes right so the region where the probability density goes to zero is called the modal surfaces the modal surfaces okay right this in cap the modal surfaces nodes nodes okay so how many node do you have in a 1s 1 in a 2s 2 okay in a in a 2s you have two nodes Here, here, this they do not consider as a node. This is a node. Okay. So in a one S, you have in a in a in a one S, we have zero nodes. In a, in a two S, we have one node. In general. In, in general, NS has n minus one nodes. Right? N minus one node. Now what we tend to do is is to represent the orbitals the orbitals okay so 
so so let me draw the orbitals as per their probability density function okay so so here we have this prob probability density variation right so so what we do is 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 we represent we represent the probability density density of n of n in terms of the in terms of the charge cloud distribution charge cloud distribution okay distribution diagrams now what happens the density of the dots so density of the dots represents what it represents the the density of the dots represents the the probability density the probability density at that point okay so what are we trying to represent the denser the dots higher is the probability density at that point and we may assign a value maybe 10 dots per square mm will correspond to say probability density function of say 100 or, or, or 500 right so to represent to represent something like a thousand okay like like a thousand somewhere you will have to you will have to put 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 say 20 dots per square mm at that point okay if it is 5000 you will have to put 100 dots per square mm so it will look it will look pretty dense okay at that point now that is the probability density okay the probability density is a mathematical thing what we had started to find out was not a mathematics rather the shape of the orbit we want when the electron moves within what region is it constrained okay so 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 let me first draw let me first draw the electron charge distribution okay so, so what happens here it is denser no near to r we saw the value of value of the value of the probability density very very high and as it started going away it started becoming smaller okay so what happens the dots are placed farther apart and and as i start moving away and away you will see that you will see that there is a gradual decrease in the density of the dots okay so what are we trying to represent we are trying to represent this diagram here this one okay near to the r there is a very very high value of the probability density so we have and, and what are the dots? What, what is the density of dots representing? It represents the probability density. Understand? So higher the number of dots, greater is the probability density. Okay? So what we have now 
what we have what we have now represented here is is nothing but but this diagram okay as i told you if 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 i say set say 500 dot per uh, 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 10 dot per square mm as as 500 mmol density then for 5000 i'll have to put in 100 dot i am not that accurate here that can be done very well done by a computer fine but but this is how it should look right so so nearer you are denser that is as we move away it starts falling very very rapidly down so it looks something like that for for 1s of right now how does 2s look like the 2s first of all is bigger okay slightly bigger okay and and we know that there is a node so so what happens there is a node so at the node the probability is zero right so so it kind of as we move away it goes like that in this region where there is node okay you see in this region in this region where you have the node there are no no electrons at all okay so so these i i'll do so so there are none you see here it was dense here in the middle and kept on falling off as you went away here it was dense in the middle fell off to zero again rose and then again has started falling as you move farther and farther right never happening never touching zero why why have we got confused there because because this is not zero right this this touches this and then rises so there is one node this this kind of is asymptotic it goes it is trying to tend to zero but never never going to zero okay so so equal to zero is this so so you can't find any electron in this in this region okay you not find electron this region but 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 the electron will have a probability of being here will have a probability of being here but but no probability of being here you understand okay so it might hop there it might hop there but but won't be found in this region at any point of time okay now what we or what we say now is so so this is what this is the boundary surface diagram okay this is called the boundary surface diagram boundary surface surface diagram okay now boundary surface diagrams which actually represents which actually represents what the probability density represents the probability density okay is a fairly good representation of the shape of the orbital as well okay is fairly good representation of the shape of the orbital as well of the shape of the orbital as well correct it also represents the shape of the orbital
ओके फाइन सो यू कैन से that electrons you can say that electron will be found in a spherical region with more probability towards the center and lesser probability for 1s lesser probability away from the center for 2s there is a higher probability at the center as you go away suddenly the probability drops down to zero as you go farther there is again the probability rises and then gradually bends off to zero as as you keep on moving farther right now there is a trouble the probability is something something that the total probability so the so the total region in which you find the electron should be if you if you draw the full region okay trying to represent all that region where the electrons can be found so that the total the sum of the probability is one that becomes a tough task why because it is probability so so say the probability of finding the electron say a million kilometers from where from from this nucleus that will be a very very small value but that will not go to zero okay it may turn out to be say say 1 into 10 to the power minus 94 but then it will never go to zero so if you kind of try to find out the probability the, the all the surface where the electron will be found then it will become infinite okay all the orbitals will start looking like infinitely large so what do we do we we say we won't take the probability the to, we will only draw the region Where the total probability of finding the electron is 90%, 0.9. We won't target one. Why? Because then I'll have to draw infinitely large orbit. Understand? Understand? Fine. So, so what we say is. We draw the boundary surface. We draw the boundary surface so that the probability of finding the electron within it. is 90%. We don't target 100% as it is required and infinitely large. right now you will understand why the m value for s goes down to zero why because it is symmetrically placed so its its orientation is only one understand if 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 there is a sphere the how so when you turn it the orientation remains the same 
Okay? So that's why that is only one. We we'll soon see as we go to the p orbital that its orientation can change. Fine? So it takes three values. And d takes five. And f takes seven. Okay? We we'll next see the shapes of different orbitals, the S, P, D, F. What do they look like? Okay. 